Awards. This event is produced by Showtime Pay-Per-View and will be available live, Spanish via secondary. Madonna's manager, who's done a phenomenal job with working with him to get him here. And uh, we, this time, this time on September 13, you are going to see a different Chino. A Chino. Look, I retired 13 years ago, Floyd. But if I were to fight like a bitch, I'd probably still be undefeated. Like you. If I would fight like a bitch and run like a bitch, I'd still be undefeated. And I'd probably still be fighting. But guess what? I'm retired. 12 years ago, I retired. And yes, I know, I know you're going to bring up my fight. I know you're going to bring up my fight with Corrales. I'm honored to, to say that I lost to a great champion in Chico Corrales. I lost to a warrior. Somebody that's going to be remembered in history as a warrior and not as a bitch. You've been bringing up stories about dirty fighting, dirty this, dirty that. Well, guess what? This fight is gonna be rougher for you. You better be ready, because this fight's gonna be rougher for you. You going around telling Chino that you wanna place a bet on his purse? Well, let's do that bet right now. Let's do that bet right now. Let's do that bet. You wanna put your conditions? We put our conditions too. Let's do a bet, winner takes all. Come on, Floyd. Winner takes all. You got a lot of money. Winner takes all. Let us wear our MS every last time. Are you willing to do it? And to me, I don't need to sign the paper. A handshake is more important because we're men. Are you going to shake my hand? Are you going to shake my hand to place that bet? Are you going to place my hand to bet? Are you going to shake my hand to place the bet? No, right? Floyd. Floyd. Come on. Let's shake hands. No, you're gonna, you're gonna shake my hand? Come on. Us men, us men don't need a paper. We need a fucking handshake. Let's see, shake my hand. Give me a fucking handshake. And let's do a fucking, let's go, come on. You know see, you don't want us to wear gloves. Let us wear gloves. Let us wear gloves. Let us wear gloves, Come on. All right, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna let us wear gloves. We got gloves for you. Chicago! Saludos, Chicago, a todos! Buenas tardes, buenas tardes a todo el público presente. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here. Gracias por estar acá, a los latinos especialmente. I want to thank all the Latinos in the house. Thank you for being here. Prometo que, que el 13 de septiembre voy a hacer una gran pelea. Le voy a quitar el invito al payaso este. I promise you that September 13th I'm going to make a great fight and I'm going to shut his mouth. Al payaso maleducado que no sabe escuchar. He's uneducated, he doesn't know how to talk. No respeta a la gente. Uno está hablando, está haciendo boludez ahí. He doesn't respect anybody, he doesn't respect the public. Tiene dinero, tiene todo lo que tiene, pero no tiene el respeto lo que tiene que tener uno, una persona, un hombre. He might have other things, but he doesn't have respect. And that's one thing you have to have. Piensa que me va a intimidar, yo no tengo miedo, no le tengo miedo a nadie sobre la tierra, ningún hombre. He thinks he's going to intimidate me, but I'm not afraid of anybody. Bueno, eh, dijo que nos quedamos afuera del Mundial, que va a pasar lo mismo que pasó en el Mundial. Y si va a pasar lo mismo que pasó en el Mundial, ellos se volvieron tempranito para su casa. He says that the same thing is going to happen like it did in the Mundial, in the World Cup. Well, if that's the case, then he's going to go home early. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much.
come September 13th, I'll be the same Floyd Mayweather. I go out there, I take my time, I keep my composure, and I stick to the game plan. The game plan is to be first, be smart, and be very, very intelligent. That's what it's about. Chicago is one of the best boxing cities in the world. You fans have stood behind me for 18 years. And I've been champion for 17 years. From my TNT fans to my TBE fans, I love all you guys. You know, it's okay for my team to say one thing, it's okay for his team to say another thing, but when it comes down to the come down, it comes down to the two fighters. That's what it's all about. I wouldn't be able to do record-breaking numbers if it wasn't for the fans. I wouldn't, be where I, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for the fans. So every night before I go to bed, I get down on my knees and I think, I give thanks to all the fans because you guys have been truly unbelievable. So give yourself a round of applause. In the sport of boxing, it's all about entertainment. If Floyd Mayweather wasn't flashy, if Floyd Mayweather didn't talk a lot of trash, then guess what? You wouldn't know who I was. You wouldn't know who I am. All work is what? All work is what? All work is what? September 13th, easy work. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the trainer, the trainer don't have to fight me. You know, the trainer had problems with Corrales. I had to take care of the trainer problems that he had with Corrales. The trainer had problems with Casamayor. Then the trainer had problems with a fighter, other fight, another fighter I don't even know, Ben Tacky. So when it's all said and done, he's just a trainer. Floyd Mayweather is a legend. Floyd Mayweather is a living legend. And for all the fans that's out there screaming, Pacquiao, Pacquiao, he still got Marquez problems. To the media and everybody that's on social on the social networks, thank you. You guys have, have stood behind me, whether the stories were good stories, if the stories was bad stories, you guys wrote about me and kept me relevant for 18 years. And I want to thank you guys for doing that. And for everybody that showed up, whether you on Maidana's side or you on Mayweather's side, thanks for showing up and supporting this great event. Thank you. Thank you.